So here we have a sample of a few fish that we got from, you can get these fish by electroshocking or seining or just pure angling. Anyway, we have these fish here. Uh, the reason we got them out here is we're going to measure them and make sure that their ratios and sizes are pretty well balanced because you don't want too many large fish because that means all the small fish are being eaten by the large fish. And you also don't want too many small fish because that means that they're stunted and they're not reaching full maturity. So we're gonna start with measuring. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our scale then we're gonna hook it to the bucket. Then you're gonna look at how much the bucket weighs. Once you've got that, I got 1.7 pounds. Whenever we've got the fish in there, we see that the weight is one pound 14 ounces. And what you'll do from that point is just subtract the weight of the bucket from the weight that you got all together, which is the 1.14 ounces. And you'll get the total weight of the fish and you'll record that. So the first thing also you want to make sure you do before you handle the fish is you want to wet your hands because they have slime all over their body and you don't want to get that protective slime off of them, especially if you retain, uh, plan on returning it to the pond. So here we're going to measure it um, in millimeters. In this instance, you've got 220 millimeter brim here. So we, the way we usually handle bass is the easiest way for me and most people is you grab them by the lip. You want to make sure to watch out because they have that sandpapery teeth and that can hurt your thumb sometimes. Anyway, you'll get right below their teeth and you'll hold them up and down like that. A lot of people like to turn it and that's fine if you use your second hand and make sure your hands are wet so you're not hurting the fish or yourself. But uh, if you're holding it with just one hand, you want to make sure it's up and down so you're not you know, putting too much pressure on the jaw.